English Speaking Course. Hello everyone! Welcome to English Speaking Course. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations. Each conversation will give you some lessons to improve your listening and speaking skills. Remember, you can watch the video many times to practice your English. Now, let's get started. At home. Oh, you are home. Hi there. It has been a long day and I really want to eat something. How about some lasagna I just made? I think it will give you some energy. There is orange juice in the fridge. Take a sip. Thank you, honey. So, what have you done today? Well, honestly, taking a day off to clean and take care of the house was really worthy. Great. What did you clean? This morning, after waking up, first, I checked the attic. It was covered in dirt and Maxwell's hair. I vacuumed it and wiped it with a wet rag. After that, I rearranged the items neatly. Next, I cleaned the cupboards. Fortunately, I found that the sink's pipeline was almost congested. So I cleaned that and repaired the entire thing. Then I washed clothes and washed Maxwell. At first he was annoyed, but later he enjoyed it. Finally, I cleaned the toilet. There was still time, so I cooked you food and played games for a while until you came home. Oh, you are so cool. I think we should spend more time cleaning our house. I agree. Every day of the week we should clean part of it. This is less tiring and the house would be cleaner. What do you think? I agree, honey. Now, let's eat together and watch a movie before going to bed. Wonderful. At the bakery. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Oh, I would like to buy some cake for my wife. You know, she's not feeling well. Some sweets will help. Yes, you can choose some cakes over there. I see these two are okay. They look nice and will fit my wife's taste. But she only needs one. Which one do you think I should choose? Hmm. This one contains cream cheese and macaroons. The other one is dark chocolate with fruit. I think the cheesecake suits her better. It's sweeter and creamy. Okay, thank you. I will take it. It's $25, sir. Okay, wait. I would also like a croissant. Do you have any? Of course, sir. How many croissants do you want? Nice. I will take one. With an extra croissant, the total is $30. Take my card. Okay, payment settled. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. At work. Hello. Hello. Is this ABC Company? Yes, this is ABC Company. How can I help you? I would like to ask about some of the company's products. Do you guys provide internet routers? Of course. What do you need it for? I need internet in my office. Do you know what type you need and how many people use it? And where would you like to install it? Honestly, not yet. We are planning to move there next week. We're currently looking for a provider that can help install the internet. No problem. Please let us know your email address, a contact person, and phone number. I will send you a survey appointment. Then we will know what you need and what we can do. Okay, my email is defcompany at cat.com. What is your name, please? Brian Reed, R-E-E-D. Okay, Mr. Reed, I will email you within the next hour. Thank you.
James and Michael, you two. Let's go do a field survey at the customer's place. I've sent the address via email. After the survey, remember to send me the equipment and tasks list. No later than one hour after returning here. Yes, yes boss. boss. Laura, how are the documents for Company Z's bidding? I'm almost done. Let me see the file. Here, sir. Laura, lend me a pen and a stapler. Where's the car key? The pickup. The third drawer from the top. Thank you. It's okay. Check again to make sure. And then tell Emma to submit it to the bidding party. Yes, boss. By the way, there are cupcakes in the break room. They're for everyone. Great, Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. At the gym. Oh, is that Alex? <laughs> oh, Will, long time no see. How long have you been training here? Nearly two years. So, currently, what do you do? I work in technology. What about you? I sell cars. Doing good? It's okay. I hope you are too. Of course. You look so tough. Yeah, thanks to regular exercise and eating healthily. Are you new here? Yes. I have only been working out for a week and I still don't know how to do it right. It's simple. Let me show you. Separate your workout days into push, pull, and leg sessions. Train three to four times a week, then add lots of protein. Right, so what do I do during my pushing session? When working out your chest, you need to do barbell push and stretch your chest muscles. Next is training the anterior and middle head muscles. Finally, train your biceps. It doesn't seem too complicated. It's very simple. How about eating? Can you help me with that as well? Sure. It's also important when you want to get fit. First, you need enough protein to repair muscles. Think chicken, fish, and tofu. Got it. What about carbs? Hmm. Choose complex carbs like whole grains, sweet potatoes, and oats. They give you energy, and you will need fats. And fats? I heard they're bad for you. You need healthy fats. Avocado, nuts, and olive oil are good for you. I see. What about snacks? Snack on fruits, yogurt, or a handful of nuts. Avoid junk food. How often should I eat? Five to six small meals a day will keep your metabolism up. This is really helpful, Alex. Thanks. No problem, Will. Remember, drink plenty of water, too. At the bookstore. Hey, Leon, what are you doing here? Oh, Alex, I'm buying some books, and you? I'm just passing by and I saw you. What type of books are you going to buy? I have to do some research for school. I'm working on the impact of the economy on the environment, along with the solutions that people have implemented to minimize that. Pretty cool. Have you found any books yet? I just found one book. I need at least three more sources for the research to be worthwhile. I understand. Let me help you search. Look, are these the books you want? Oh, this book is suitable. I will take it. But not this one. It's about storytelling, not data. But it's okay. I've just found another resource. Great. By the way, I know you like reading light novels, so I got you one. Wonderful. I've always thought about reading that, but I have to save money for study materials. Thank you, Alex. No worries. Now let's pay for the books. 
The total is $320. Oh, why so much? Three reference books are $240. The novel is $80. The novel seems expensive, Alex. Let's buy it another time. It does not matter. You deserve it. Please help me pack them up. I'll use my card. Payment settled. Thank you. Alex, thank you very much. It's okay, Leon. Studying is important. When I was a student, I also saved money to buy study materials. There were many things I wanted but could not buy. I don't want you to be like that. Now I'll drive you home, okay? I want to visit mom and dad. That is cool, brother. At a restaurant. Welcome to our restaurant. Do you have a reservation? We booked a table for two at 8 p.m. Please tell me your name. My name is Alex. Please follow me. Here is your table. The waiter will arrive shortly to serve you. Thank you. Welcome to our restaurant. Here is the menu. Please order. Honey, you first. Oh, I would like buffalo wings and a chicken fried steak. Yes, one buffalo wings and one chicken fried steak. What about you, sir? I will take a meatloaf and a jambalaya. What about drinks? Two colas. Sugar or no, sir? Oh, I almost forgot. No sugar. All in all, you and the lady would like Order up. buffalo wings, one chicken fried steak, one meatloaf, one jambalaya, and two sugar-free colas. Is that all? Yes, that is all. Please wait a moment. Thank you. Honey, the buffalo wings are a little cold. Let me try. Hmm, they are. Waiter, please. How can I help you? Please help me heat up my buffalo wings. They're a little cold. I am so sorry. I will heat them up immediately. Do you need anything else? Mm, please, we need an ice tray. Yes, please wait a moment. Waiter, we're ready to pay the bill. Your total comes to $80, sir. Here you go. Keep the change. That's my tip. Thank you. Do you need a receipt? No, thank you. Thank you and goodbye. Going on a date. Oh, look at this, honey. Oh, isn't this a picture of our first date? It's been five years. Time flies, and now we're married. Do you still remember that place? Of course I remember. This place is really beautiful. Why did you choose this area? During weekdays, we work very hard. So a spacious park with fresh air is very necessary to unwind on the weekend. We've known each other for a while now. Every day I feel more and more that I want to be close to you and take care of you. Uh-huh. Honestly, I like you a lot, Sophia. Would you agree to be my girlfriend? I agree. Do you really agree? Really? I am not kidding. Is this a dream? No, Alex, this is real. I like you too. Woohoo! Today is the best day of my life. Do you remember where we went after that? Of course I do. That afternoon I took you out to eat at Taco Bell. Then we went to the beach and we spent time all afternoon together. You are such an idiot. Who would go to Taco Bell on a first date? You agreed. Hey, so let's go eat at Taco Bell again. And then go to the beach like the old times. No, now we can eat Taco Bell anytime. 
I want to have dinner at a restaurant and then go watch a movie. Okay, then let me make a reservation. Great, honey. <laughs> Hanging out with friends. Hey, what's up, Will? Hey, Alex. Busy this weekend. I'm free. What's up? Let's go drink coffee. We haven't hung out since college. Okay, is it just you and me? I called Liam, Danny, and Steve. The whole team. Wow. Coffee only? We will discuss more during coffee. Okay, time, place? 9 a.m., sober tabby. Ah, the old place. Perfect. Okay, bye. Bye. Wow, it has been years since the last time we were together like this. We used to come here daily. Hello, guys. Long time no see. Oh, hello, Uncle Henry. Yes, long time. Are all your lives good? We are all good, Uncle Henry. I'm so happy to see you all healthy and living a good life. I think we should meet more often. Sure. And, by the way, this meeting, we should have a longer time together. You know, camping, fishing, things we used to do in the past. Are you going to drive to Vancouver just for a beaver tall like before? No way, I'm old. We're all old. Eating and drinking, they do not make a difference. I suggest a vacation on which we can spend a few days together. Camping is a good choice. Hey, hey, we are not as strong as we used to be. That is right. Office jobs have reduced our health. No problem. We just need two weeks to train. I know a place in the northern part of the state. We can go all the way to the campsite by car, even though it's high in the mountains. It takes around three hours driving. No problem. I have an SUV. It has been modified for off-road. It fits our purposes. So when do we go? I still have to buy some camping gear. Maybe next month. See you guys here in two weeks. Let's see how prepared we are. Agreed. Agreed. At a coffee shop. Boys, it seems you forgot to order, huh? Oh, sorry, Uncle Henry. We were too busy talking, so we forgot. Is the menu still the same? Luckily for you boys, things haven't changed much in the past seven years. In addition, I also sell some food, if you boys want. See, I told you back then, one day Uncle Henry will sell lunch. <laughs> Not only lunch, but also dinner. Now I'm open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Steve, you still remember that. I cannot forget the class ended at 12.30. I had to walk five kilometers home on an empty stomach. Now it's different. Uncle Henry, I want a black coffee. I want a macchiato. I want an orange juice. Do you still make avocado smoothies? Of course I do. I want one. What about you, Alex? Hot cocoa, please. You boys are still yourselves. I'm so happy. Thank, Thank you, you, Uncle Henry. Henry. So that should be all for today. I must go pick up my wife now. See you guys in two weeks as planned. I will have lunch here. It's too late to cook. Hey, I will eat with Danny. This is a chance to enjoy Uncle Henry's food as I have always dreamed of. What about your wife, Steve? She has gone traveling. Okay, see you later. Uncle Henry, how much is our bill? Fifty dollars. QR code is at the counter. I'm busy. You boys just scan and then tell me. 
I made this meeting. Let me treat you guys this time. Next time, it'll be you or somebody else. That's right. In the old days, we just paid in turn. All right, guys. We will go now. Danny, Steve, see you later. See you later. Uncle Henry, I want to order some food. On the street. What is the matter? It's terrible. An out-of-control car crashed into the curb, went through the bus stop, and now it's blocking the sidewalk on this side. Oh my god, are there any human casualties? The driver was injured. He was taken in an ambulance to the hospital. Currently, the police are blocking the sidewalk on this side and asking for witnesses. Oh, so we cannot walk on this sidewalk temporarily? That's right. Oh, God. We have to walk back for a mile. Come on. It can't be helped. Hey, kid. Hold up. What's the matter? Look. The light is not red. You can't cross the road. Really? I waited for a while, but the light did not turn red. For the red light, you must press the button. Wait a minute. Now the light has turned red. Wow, that's amazing. Come on, let's cross together. Thank you, sir. No worries. Today you have acquired a new skill. Excuse me. Can I ask for directions to the subway station? Subway station? You have to walk far. Oh, it's okay. Can you show me? Now go straight along this road. When you see Avenue 37, turn left. Then walk to Faro Street. The subway station is at the intersection of Faro Street and Avenue 37. Thank you so much. By the way... Please tell me how to get to the city center by subway. You will get off at Barrel Station. Then catch the bus number 12, get off at the third stop. And that's how you get to the city center. Oh, thank you. No worries. At the grocery store. Honey, I forgot what we have to buy. Wait, there's several things I'm trying to remember. Firstly, food. What do we need? Oh, I remember lasagna and garlic bread. What else? We also need spaghetti, sausage, pizza pies, and eggs. Oh, so... Hold on. Just take note of everything you need to buy. Then we go through the sections one by one. Don't waste time remembering every single thing. Okay, so let me write them down on my phone. Okay, we've done the food part. Next is laundry things. What kind of detergent do you want to buy? I'm thinking about using capsules instead. They're more effective and not as expensive as detergent. Furthermore, I don't have to buy softener when I use them. Good idea. My friend told me about this new product. Her family has saved a lot on laundry. Um, do you think we need to buy dishwashing liquid? Yes, we should change to a more diluted type. It will prevent the dishes from keeping the liquid smell after they're washed. Okay, let's go get those things. Please place your stuff on the conveyor. The total is $300. I'm using my loyalty card. At this time, if you pay via phone number, you will receive a 5% discount on all your stuff. Oh, no need. I want to use up the points on my card. Please take my loyalty card. Fine. Your payment has been settled. Thank you. 
Let me take care of them. Household Appliance Repair Hello, Alex. What is the matter? Kyle, one of my wall lights has gone dark. I can't turn it on. Can you come and change it? Fine, but first, I will send you some pictures. Choose a model, and then tell me which one you like. All right. Oh, one more thing. My house's main circuit breaker often makes sounds when I'm using the microwave. Please help me check that. I see. Okay, I've finished replacing the light. Now, turn it on. Great. Now let's take a look at that main circuit breaker. It seems that your circuit breaker is an old model. This has poor performance and is easily damaged. I think you have to replace it with a new one. How much does it cost? Not expensive, only $40 each. It also does not take much time to buy. When you said you needed to check the circuit breaker, I had already considered this situation. Okay, let's get it done. It's done. From now on, you will not worry about lights being out due to a broken circuit breaker anymore. Oh, thank you. How much is it? It's free this time. Next time it is $8 per packet. Thank you, Kyle. Gardening Sophia, honey, do you remember which seeds we're going to buy? I have the list here. Let's see. Our fruit plants will be tomatoes and cucumbers. As for flowers, we only need sunflowers and daisies. That's all for now. We need experience before moving on to other types of fruit and flower trees. Otherwise, our garden would become a landfill. Okay. So what gardening tools have you been thinking about? We need two small shovels, two big shovels, two pairs of gardening gloves, and two hats. Fair enough. Do you want to grow short lawn grass? No, I don't. Let the natural garden grow. Just separate our growing area from the natural garden. All right. Hey, Sophia, the seeds have sprouted. Let's plant them on the lawn. First, make a small hole in the ground. Okay. Then, put in the sprouts. All right. Remember to keep the bud facing up. Finally, fill it with soil and spread fertilizer on top. Done. Let me see. You're doing okay, baby. For climbing plants, such as tomatoes, cucumbers, they need room to thrive. We will buy some wooden poles to make them a stand. When do we need it? I will tell you when the time comes. Okay, honey. Buying new clothes. Hello! Hello. I would like to buy some t-shirts. Where can I find them? Over there, sir! Okay, thank you. You seem to be confused. May I help you? Yeah, I need some recommendations. With your body type, you should wear a shirt with a collar. This cheap model has quite thick fabric, but the color fades easily. Oh, okay. You should choose this one. It was made with better fabric. The color remains for a long time. And the price is not too expensive. Sounds good. I will take this. Do you need anything else? I would also like some socks. Please follow me. What kind of socks do you want to wear? I need a lot of high socks and some short socks as well. 
We have all kinds of socks here. Please choose the pattern that you like. Thank you. I would like to take these t-shirts and pairs of socks. The total is $250. Take my card. Okay, sir. Payment completed. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.